In this video we're going to answer the question every worm wants answered. Does my derriere look big in these? Hello again and welcome to a rather wet early August update on the closed experimental worm bin. That's the cardboard where it was in contact with the vermicompost in the bin and you can see that the worms have made their way into that. This is the bedding and if you remember it consists of entirely horse manure. I'm not feeding it any, anything except um, clothing so there's no food scraps going into this. Now the last update was week 20 something. The This uh, video today culminates in week 40. So this is the cotton and elasticine t-shirt. If you remember the first t-shirt I put in was 100% cotton and the worms did indeed completely consume the t-shirt except for the threading along the edges of the t-shirt which um, somebody mentioned in the comments that there may be some sort of polyester thread coated in cotton so the worms had the cotton coating and then just left the polyester thread I think it was polyester I'd have to go back and look now this is interesting because it seems like what the worms are doing is something similar here they're eating the cotton and just leaving the elasticine in the t-shirt. You can see the blotchy patches there where it's become a bit see-through. It's not bothering the worms which is good to see but one of the things I have noticed is the level of the bedding has dropped quite a bit. As I mentioned this is just entirely horse manure. Still recognizable as a t-shirt so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold that up and put that back and because they've got more or less halfway through that t-shirt I'm going to give them some more clothes to eat I'm just going to ruffle up the bedding it's just to check on the worms really make sure that they're doing okay plenty of worms in each handful that I pick up they're obviously quite happy in the bin if you take a look at the sides there's not much evidence of escapees although I know there are escapees and you'll see the evidence for that now in a few minutes but the worms are doing well so all in all feeding clothes to the worms not much of a problem so far really so I'm just going to fold this up put it back into a little hole and I'm going to feed them a pair of denim shorts next now denim is cotton and something else I don't know if they're 100% cotton I don't think those shorts wear 100% cotton um, I've left it too late to do the follow-up with these really to go back and, and check the label but um, I'm going to add them in now and see how they get on. They've been soaking in water for about a week. I wanted to check if any dye ran out of it or whatever because I didn't really want that getting into the worm bin because this vermicompost is going to be used. Now there's the sides. Not much evidence of escapees. I'm just going to put the cardboard back on top and this bin lives outside so I've got uh, that large refuse sack is over the worm tower and I'm just going to stretch it out and put it over the closed experimental bin and then I've got a heavier piece of plastic that I'm going to cover the whole thing with to try and give it some water waterproofing it was it is sitting in the what was a greenhouse but the greenhouse literally has um, fallen apart over about a year and a half's use so I, I, this is not about greenhouses this is about the worm bin but I don't recommend that type of you can see the um, type of plastic it is at the back there I don't recommend that kind of greenhouse at all this is the third one now I've had and I would never buy another one that's the plastic in place now to keep the rain off and we'll come back to this in about a month and see how it gets on 
This is one month later. You'll notice I've topped up the bedding with some more fresh horse manure and there was some additional worms put into the bin. I leave the out, because this bin is outside, I leave it sitting on cardboard, which I always recommend for outside bins, leave cardboard or leaves or something carbon based because worms are very energy efficient. If they do leave your bin, they'll just stop at the nearest food and shelter source that they find. And if that happens to be underneath the bin, that's exactly where you'll find them. That was heavy cardboard laminated with plastic. You can see they've eaten the cardboard and just left the plastic. So let's have a look now and see how the denim shorts and the elasticine t-shirt has got on. Like I was saying, I've added some extra worms to this bin uh, inadvertently really because they were in the horse manure that I collect. So I've just topped up the bedding with some fresher horse manure because this bin has been running now for 40 weeks so they're bound to have consumed most of the um, most of the good bacteria in the horse manure and that's the idea of just having one source of bedding because anything if they're getting bacteria from anything else they're going, they're going to eat anything else the only option they have in this bin is the clothing so this is the elasticine t-shirt you can see it looked very tight and very small when I pulled it out and it seems like they have in fact now eaten all of the cotton and just left the elasticine. So I suppose the elasticine without the cotton weave or web or web or I don't know what the um, clothing words are, but without the cotton I suppose interwoven with to, with the elasticine, it's uh, it doesn't it, there's nothing to keep it stretched, so it's no longer keeping its shape and it just pulls itself tight in on itself, which is why it was such a tight little ball when I pulled it out. But you can see it's completely see-through now all of the cotton is gone and they've just left the elasticine which is uh, quite fascinating to see they've also that i think the thread that was on the 100 percent cotton t-shirt is the same kind of thread that i'm seeing here so they've left the elasticine and that thread along the edging uh, i'm sorry i'm holding the camera with one hand and i'm trying to uh, manipulate the shirt with the other but you can see, completely see-through. The cotton entirely gone. There's still a few little bits, but very, very little. So I'm just gonna put this back to give them one last chance to get entirely get rid of all the cotton. And we'll have a look at the denim, the denim uh, shorts now. The worms are doing okay. Plenty of worms spread all throughout the bin. So they're happy in the, in the bed, which is what I would expect because it's horse manure. Now this is a this is a one of the a letter from oh, if you watched the series I think this is the third or fourth video I've done in this series although we're in week 40 I've only made about four videos I, I initially started covering these because it was very cold with a, a t-shirt and they literally ate the t-shirt and left the plastic lettering which is now scattered throughout the bed so something that was actually very funny at the beginning is uh, turns out not to be such a great idea after all now this is the denim shorts and they seem to be doing exactly the same thing again some of you in the comments may know how denim is made but it seems like there's a worm working his way through the threads it seems to be similar to the shirts there's cotton woven around around some sort of other thread and it seems like they're eating the cotton and leaving the thread now this is interesting because a thought has come to mind where I don't know on one of the on some website or other I saw a worm bin which was made by hanging a pair of jeans and there's another letter first one was L this one is A L A do you think they were trying to give me a hint to take them on holidays or something anyhow I saw a pair of jeans hanging up and it was uh, supposed to be a worm bin which looked really interesting obviously that you be easy to uh, harvest because you just open the string holding the legs tied together at the bottom and you could harvest from there and it, it was quite a fun little experiment somebody did but having looked at what these denim shorts look like now after a month I'm wondering how long that kind of a worm bin would actually last so I'm going to put these denim shorts back. They're not finished yet, obviously, but I wonder if they'll just leave the thread, if that's what we'll see in about a month's time. So I'll come back to this in about four, six weeks. 
and see how to get on and in the meantime I've got another t-shirt just soaking to make sure there's no there's another letter to make sure there's no dye or whatever is going to run from it and I'll feed that to the worm bin next so that's it as always uh, thanks for watching I hope you're all keeping safe and well bye for now <laughs>